welcome to BIMS TV. I'm Renee Brody, and this is BIMS Bites. Today, I will be biting into the thermal regulatory behaviors of marine invertebrates. Animals that live in the intertidal, the part where the ocean meets the land, have to be really tough. When the water comes up at high tide, it covers these habitats, and those animals are underwater. But when it goes out, they are left out in air, it can get really hot during the summertime and it can get really cold out there during the winter time. So during the day and night, and as the water comes in and out, they get very, very warm, they can get very, very cool, they can dry out, um, they can get covered again. And then also how salty the water is changes. So if they're covered by seawater, it's pretty salty. If it starts to rain and the sea is out, they will be exposed to very fresh water. So that's a lot of change and often very fast. They have to be super tough to survive that. A lot of the animals that live in that kind of habitat are invertebrates. So these are animals, things like sea stars, um, mollusks like snails and scallops, and crustaceans like shrimp and crabs. All of these animals, what they have in common is that they do not have a backbone like you do down the center of your back. And they might have some hard parts like the carapace on a shrimp, the hard outer part, but they don't have the backbone that you have. So invertebrates are also ectotherms, and that means they have to use their environment to cool down or heat up and to keep their body temperatures within a range of hotness or coolness that makes them feel comfortable. Sometimes if you're in a hot room, you might take off your sweater. That's a behavior that you have to cool down. Or if you're outside and you feel cold, you might put your jacket on. So you also have thermal regulatory behaviors, but you can also use the energy inside of your body to stay warm. Invertebrates have to rely mostly on their environment and their behaviors to keep their temperature comfortable. My lab, so I have students that work with me to study a fiddler crab called Manuka pugnax. And this is a marine invertebrate, also an ectotherm like the other invertebrates, and it uses its habitat to stay cool. It likes to find shade, it will stay wet when it's exposed at low tides so when it's out in air. And also it can, if it has a large claw, which the males do, some of the heat can be pulled into that large claw away from the main part of the body and that helps them stay cool. What we're most interested in is them, their use of burrows to go down and cool down. It turns out that the burrows that they dig into the ground, when they get down underground, it's much cooler than it is on the surface. And so we find that they use that uh, ability to go down into their burrows to stay cool. These are some pictures of my lab using, um, studying them in their environment. And it gets really, really hot out there. So sometimes we've measured temperatures on the surface that are too hot for them to actually survive if they were forced to stay there. But what we find is that they go down into their burrows to cool down. And they do that often enough that they can keep their bodies cool and stay active on the surface. This is a picture of us working. Um, in this case, we were actually measuring how much energy they're using at different temperatures. If they use all their energy, up, they don't have enough left to um, reproduce, which is important. We are interested in this because we're concerned about climate change. and We want to know how the behaviors of these animals are helping them to stay cool as the planet gets warmer. You are welcome to contact me if you have questions. Thank you for tuning in and please follow, like, and subscribe uh, to Black in Marine Science. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.